Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. Let's start the current affairs of 21st of June, the yoga day. Before I start, I am back from my summer vacations. I am sure Dr. Maipal Singh Rathor, he did a tremendous job in my absence. And uh, I had gone to Italy for 11 days. I have uploaded the pictures on my my Instagram profile, Tireless Soul. So if, if you want to check out the pictures, then do follow me on uh, social media. Let's start the video with some fresh energy. Yuri Petrovich Trutnev. I repeat, Yuri Petrovich Trutnev. He is the deputy prime minister of which country and he was on the official visit to India. He is the deputy prime minister of Russia. Okay, Russia. And uh, remember one uh, more thing. India is buying S-400, you know, missile defense system from Russia. S-400. There are two, three companies also, uh, Russian companies that you need to know. For example, there is an antivirus company called Kaspersky. It is a Russian company. Then there is a company called Rosneft, which is into gas and oil. And another company called Gazprom. Again, it is into gas and oil. There is a company of diamonds called Alrosa. So all these four uh, are Russian companies. One more company that comes to mind is Almaz Ante. Almaz Ante is the biggest defense or weapons manufacturer from Russia. Russia's capital is Moscow. Minister of Health and Family Welfare, the ministry, it has formally approved 120 crore rupee cancer institute at government medical college in which of the following cities. So we will have a new cancer institute that will be set up in Jammu. Okay, Jammu. Now remember, when is the World Cancer Day, by the way, if I ask you? World Cancer Day is every year on 4th of February. Okay, 4th of February is the World Cancer Day. And India's largest cancer hospital, India's largest cancer hospital was opened this year in April, where? In Jhajjar, which is a district in Haryana. Understood or not understood? India's largest cancer institute was opened in April 2019 in Jhajjar in Haryana. That is also worth knowing. And who is our new health minister? So earlier it was JP Nadda. Now it is Dr. Harshwardhan. Okay. His constituency is Chandni Chowk in New Delhi. He is also the minister for earth sciences, for science and technology and so on. The fifth conference on interaction and confidence building measures in Asia that is Sika Summit took place in which country? Sika Summit took place in Tajikistan. Tajikistan's capital Dushanbe was where this, uh, this summit took place. Now remember, please don't confuse Tajikistan with Kyrgyzstan. In Kyrgyzstan happened the SCO Summit, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Kyrgyzstan's capital is Bishkek where Narendra Modi attended this, uh, this uh, SCO Summit. He represented India. And India's foreign minister is S. Jay Shankar. Name the sagged IPS officer who has got life imprisonment in a custodial death case around 30 years back. His name is Sanjeev Bhatt. Sanjeev Bhatt. Who among the following is the recipient of the 2019 Prime Minister's Award for Outstanding Contribution for Promotion and Development of Yoga? Now remember, with respect to yoga, 6-7 questions can be asked. And this is very important. So, first of all, the answer to this question, it is Antoineta Rozi, Swami Rajarishi Muni and Bihar School of Yoga, all of the above. So, all of the above have been given the Prime Minister's Award. If they ask you, when is the yoga day? The answer is very simple, 21st of June. If they ask you, where was the main event conducted? Okay, one location in India is chosen as the place where the main event of yoga day is conducted. This time it was Rachi. Rachi is where? It is capital of Jharkhand. Last year in 2018, the main event took place in Kota. Kota is in Rajasthan. When was the first time yoga day was celebrated? It was in 2015. Clear or not clear? And therefore this was the fifth yoga day. In 2019, we are celebrating the fifth yoga day. Now, if I ask you, where was the main event conducted of the first yoga day in 2015? It was at Rajpath in New Delhi. Okay. If I ask you, why Narendra Modi, he chose 21st of June as the day for the yoga day? Now, this is a good question. 
Why 21st of June? Why not 22nd of June? Why not 23rd of June? Because 21st of June is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, which we call as summer solstice. Clear or not clear? 21st of June is the longest day of the year. So that is why uh, Pradhan Mantri Modi said that this day is significant and it is also significant in Hindu mythology. And uh, three, four more questions can be asked like, for example, uh, the brother of yoga, like Siddha, Yunani. So when is the Siddha day? Siddha day is 4th of January. 4th of January is the Siddha day. And Ayurveda day is 5th of November. When is the Yunani day? Uh, Yunani day is 11th of February. 11th of February is the Yunani day. And World Homeopathy day is 10th of April. Clear? In fact, last year, the Ministry of Ayush, headed by Shripad Yeso Nayak, the Ministry of Ayush celebrated the first Naturopathy Day on 18th of November. So, a lot of things can be asked regarding yoga and, I mean, uh, what was the theme of the Yoga Day this year? It was Climate Action. Climate Action. This was the theme. And who is India's new Environment Minister? Prakash Javadekar. The government of India has decided to make the DD India programs to which of the following country. So Durdarshan will now be telecasted in which countries? It is Bangladesh and South Korea. Bangladesh and South Korea. Now remember, recently India uh, started giving visa on arrival. Visa on arrival to the South Korean residents. And recently Myanmar started giving visa on arrival to the Indian residents. Clear or not clear? And South Korean president is Moon Jae in capital is Seoul. By the way, remember there is a new DD started in Arunachal called DD Arun Prabha. DD Arun Prabha is the name of the uh, name of the DD channel in Arunachal Pradesh. Japan has rejected which country's proposal to set up a joint fund to compensate wartime forced laborers. This country is South Korea. Clear? You know a lot of people ask me why South Korea and Japan they are not close to each other despite having China as a common enemy. The reason is South Korea and Japan they have a very adverse history lot of wars lot of war crimes and uh, they basically they are held hostage their friendship is held hostage to the history. So South Korea is the answer. And Japan has recently withdrawn from the International Whaling Commission also remember that. According to the Asian Development Bank which country is the fastest growing economy in the Asia Pacific for the financial year 2018-2019. Fastest growing economy in Asia Pacific is Bangladesh. The economy rate was, the growth rate was 7.9%. Very healthy, 7.9%. And Bangladesh Prime Minister is Sheikh Hasina. Who or which, which country has become the first state in Australia to legalize voluntary euthanasia? Euthanasia has been now legalized by Victoria. Victoria. The Guti bill, it has been proposed by which of the following countries? There were protests also against the Guti bill. Okay. The bill, it wants to nationalize, you know, old communities and old religious center in the country. This is in Nepal. In wake of suspected attacks on two merchant ships in the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. Clear. The Indian Navy has launched which operation? And of course, both of these are joined by the Strait of Hormuz. Very, very important. Strait of Hormuz is very important and a lot of attacks are happening in Strait of Hormuz. It is a narrow area and uh, only 31 kilometers is the width of Strait of Hormuz at its uh, narrowest location. And the operation is called Operation Sankal. Operation Sankal is a very, very important question. For the first time in Bangladesh, iron ore mine has been discovered in which of the following districts? Iron ore mine has been district discovered in Dinajpur district. Dinajpur. And remember, in India, recently, the Geographical Survey of India, it said that more than 33% of India's graphite reserves are in Arunachal Pradesh. India has opened its first specialized hydrotherapy treatment for elephants in which of the following city? It is the same city where the first hospital of elephants was opened. It is Mathura in Uttar Pradesh. And this hospital has been opened by an NGO called Wildlife SOS. Wildlife SOS. The Kolhapuri Chappal, the iconic Kolhapuri Chappal, this is the Kolhapuri Chappal. It has got a geographical indication tag. Now, Kolhapuri Chappal is worn in which two states? It is worn in 
four districts of Maharashtra and four districts of Karnataka. Now, which districts? So, in Maharashtra, it is won in Kolhapur, Sholapur, Sangli and Satara. Clear or not clear? And why was Sangli in news? Because the turmeric, turmeric or in Hindi we call it haldi of Sangli has got the geographical indicator tag. Okay, Sangli Che Halad, which means the, the turmeric of Sangli has got the GI tag and the turmeric of Arod and of Kandhamal also got the geographical indicator tag. Kandhamal of course is in Odisha, Arod is in Tamil Nadu. What about Karnataka? So in Karnataka there are four places where Kolapuri chappals are uh, worn by the people. This uh, is Dharwad, Belgaon, Bagalkot and Bijapur. Now let me ask you a difficult question. Okay, this is a fruit. Okay, this fruit is called apricot. Clear or not clear? It is called apricot. And apricot oil. Now in this state we call it chuli oil. And this is of course cumin. In Hindi we call it jeera. Or in English you can call it black cumin. So recently the apricot oil or the chuli oil and black cumin, they have got the geographical indicator tag of which state? So which states chuli oil and black cumin has got the geographical indicator tag in 2019? Write down in comments. Also tell me the district of this state where these two things are famous, especially the chuli oil. Who has been appointed as India's representative in the ICAO? The Council of International Civil Aviation Organization. Now remember, with respect to the aviation, there are two most important organizations. One is ICAO and one is IATA. And both are headquartered in Montreal, in Canada. Okay, so who is India's representative? Shefali Juneja. International Surfing Day 2019 was observed when? It was observed on 15th of June. 15th of June. By the way, every year it is not on 15th of June. Clear? It is on 3rd Saturday of June. 3rd Saturday of June. So accordingly you kind of uh, see, okay. Third Saturday of June this time was on 15th of June. Who has won the women's 1500 meter gold medal uh, in the Foxman Grand Prix held in Sweden? Now which sea is near Sweden? It is the Baltic Sea. Okay. So who has won the gold medal? P.U. Chitra. P.U. Chitra, she is an Indian. She created history. And she defeated Commonwealth champion Kenya's Mercy Choreno. So this is a very big achievement for P.U. Chitra. This is Baltic Sea. You can see it extends all the way to Finland and uh, Sweden. And of course, these are uh, again Baltic countries, so many, which are on the rim or margins of the Baltic Sea, like Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Sweden, Finland. Uh, you can include Poland. You can also include Germany in that. Okay. World Sickle Cell Day was observed on which date? World Sickle Cell Day was observed on 19th of June. 19th of June. This is a disorder called sickle cell anemia where the normal blood cells, they become sickle shape. So their surface area is reduced and the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood is reduced. So these people, they suffer from breathlessness, apnea, ischemia, and they are not basically healthy. Which state has launched its ambitious program called Back to the Village? You know, Back to the Village, go back to the villages. So it has been done by Jammu and Kashmir. Now a very similar program. Let me ask you a very difficult question. A very similar program called School Fungat Hasi. School Fungat Hasi has been started by which state in India? Write down in comments. Who has started the program called School Fungat Hasi? Which state? Which state has partnered with National Payments Corporation of India for Me Seva service? Now, if you are following Mi Seva, it's a portal and uh, Mi Seva service request to NPCA has been done by Telangana. Telangana. Now, again, let me ask you a very difficult question. Land portal. Let's talk about land portal. So, Andhra Pradesh land portal is called Bhudar. Bhudar is the land portal, digital land portal for Andhra. What is the name of the land portal for Telangana? Can you tell me? Which state has rejected an offer, uh, you know, of Kerala to provide 20 lakh liter of drinking water? This state is suffering from acute water shortage. Despite that, it is not accepting an offer of Kerala to provide them 20 lakh liter of drinking water. It is Tamil Nadu. So Pinaray Vijayan, he offered water, but 
at a padike palna swami said no name the commander of the arab army who conquered sindh who was he what was his name his name was muhammad bin qasim muhammad bin qasim and the last question is what is the shaving mirror is it convex concave plain parabolic whatever i'll give you a very simple trick to remember okay let's say this is a mirror and this is a mirror now if you are small and you want to see yourself as big okay then it will be a concave mirror understood or not understood if you are big and you want to see yourself as small then you will take a convex mirror now shaving mirror you want to obviously you want to see more of you right you want to see a good uh, you know magnification of yourself so you will use a concave mirror so the answer is concave mirror now if i ask you uh, for example in a in a vehicle what is a rear view mirror now see rear view is very big but you want to see it in a very uh, small mirror like rear view mirror because you can see big so you want to decrease the size of something so you will use a convex mirror so the vehicle the rear view mirror will be a convex mirror etc etc okay that was the uh, video for today and uh, 21st of june not today yesterday but okay, okay today's video will also be uploaded very soon and once again i thank you for being so patient uh, on being standby mode but dr mahipal singh rathore is as good and he did a tremendous job in my absence so see you uh, and a uh, lot of videos will come now i am uh, uh, bursting with new energy and you'll see uh, a host of videos in the next few weeks take care god bless and goodbye